Hey guys, welcome back to my new series called Book Club. This is the second episode in this new series. So, I did start off the series last episode with a bang and I started with a horror book, which is something I love. Now in this episode, I will be diving into a supernatural book. The book I will be focusing on is Angel Fall by Susan E. So grab a snack, a drink, and a blanket, and let's get into the video. Now this is a book I seriously love, and I have read it so many times. In the book, Susan does a great job at drawing the audience into the main character world. Um, the main character world is pretty vast and we say that there is a lot of problems with it very early on. The book is written in Penman, the main character's point of view throughout the whole thing and we do see her character grow quite a lot as the book goes on. Although one of the very very first things that can be noted about this book is that right under the title Angel Fall you can see in little writing down here that it says they have arrived. This is a very good forewarning that throughout the first page and first chapter there is something very off about the world that the audience slash readers are being drawn into now. Um, the world that they're entering and picturing isn't normally this way and it does say that it's not like this when the book is set. So before the book is set, it's not like this and there is a problem. So it does give a great forewarning to that. This book does have 326 pages and contains 47 chapters. The very first page inside the book is a bit of a four word, as you will, that I will not be reading in this video because it simply does give a lot more information than the back of the book does. So I will leave that as a surprise to you guys. If you do decide to go ahead and buy this book and read it yourself. One of the things I do love very much about this book is that the author, Susan, does let the information twinkle in. What I mean by that is we don't get a lot of information all at once. We may get quite a bit of information in the first chapter, but after that, slowly twinkling in, so there's not a lot to take in at once. It comes in slowly and we can form the picture better in our mind as readers. Um, and with the information we get, we're able to find out more about what Penwin is like and what her life used to be like. And we also do get some small memories to her younger years. And we find out a lot more about her little sister, which is important to keep in mind, and I will get to that in a second. The information we do get about Penwin's little sister is very important because she's mentioned on the back of the book as a helpless little girl. Now, throughout the first chapter, well, the first, very first pages, actually, we do find out how she's helpless, but later on we do find out through the little tidbits of information um, what made her become helpless and what happened to her. This is also very important to the story and keeps it interesting as it is part of the reason why the story is being told. The book I could go on and on and on about for hours, but if I did that as much as I want to and I would love to, I would end up ruining the story for and boiling it for everyone who has yet to actually read it. So I will be reading the description on the back of the book like I did with my previous video and I think that's something I will continue to do throughout these videos. So as we can see I've got my copy right here. It is very beautiful. I love the artwork and I love that it's textured with the angel wings and the text. And I will be reading the back of it. Again, I really think it's beautiful and I love the colours and the design. So let's get into it. It has been six weeks since the angels returned to Earth and destroyed the world as we know it. When they fly away with a helpless little girl, her sister Penwin will do anything to get her back. Now this is very powerful and it does give a lot of indication to what the book's about without actually giving away what happened and still being interesting to know what actually happened. So I do love that and I love this book and I think it's so beautiful. Well, I do highly recommend this book if you're into supernatural stuff like I am, especially Angel and all that stuff. 
It is extremely good and you'll be hooked into it within the first page. I can promise you that. I will leave the link to the book down below in the description. That way you can buy it and read it yourself. And comment down and let me know what you think of this book and what you like about it and what you don't like about it if you don't like it. But to Susan E, you did an amazing job with this book.